All right, welcome back to The Morning Beat. Thank you so much for joining us. We're super excited about this because C13 Features just uh, launched its latest podcast movie. That's right, movie, uh, Ghost Rider, starring the Emmy-nominated Kate Mara and S uh, SAG Award-nominated Adam Scott. We're so excited to be speaking with them today. So thank you both for joining us for this Odyssey check-in. How are you? I'm glad you mentioned our uh, nominations. That makes it <laughs> yes, they should be. Listen, mentioned. those nominations will be with you your entire lives. Uh, Adam, I feel like we're wearing <laughs> similar glasses right now, which is super exciting for me. Um, I do have 2020 vision, though, so these yeah. are just totally lensless. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mine, are, mine are just readers because I can't see things that are up close. Well, this is kind of a weird moment for me because people have told me randomly in my life, they're like, you look like Adam Scott. So oh. be wearing some like tortoise shell glasses with you right now is kind of a cool really do people really happened. told you that yeah you're very you're very good looking man I take it as a compliment oh well I take that as a compliment <laughs> I take not what you just said but that people think you look like me Kate I feel like as a compliment to say that people and what you just you, said was a compliment <laughs> we also look alike Kate no I nobody says that bring it up nobody. people often say me and Kate look alike so nobody <laughs> says that Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we are excited to have you both here. You know, listeners are loving the psychological thriller. Uh, Kate, you play Kate, um, who takes on a, a job as a ghostwriter, uh, but your character is dealing with a lot under the surface. Um, and I'm kind of curious to know, how did you dig into this role, uh, especially one that is solely based on your voices? This is like a sort of an interesting medium. Yeah, it's really fun to do because, um, you know, the the challenge of not being able to rely at all on the quiet moments or, or any moments where you need, um, visually to be subtle at all. Um, it, that's a challenge as, as an actor in, in a really exciting way. Um, and it's different than anything, um, I've done before. Um, because even if you're doing, if you're used to doing sort of, um, voiceover work or, um, there's, there's usually a visual, you're either playing a cartoon character or whatever. And there's always those things that you, so you don't actually have to rely as much, on every single sound. Um, and with this, uh, there was a lot of, you know, having to uh, spell out the things that your character is doing, like, okay, I'm going to go open the door now, <laughs> things like that, which <laughs> can feel quite unnatural, but you have to find a way to make it feel natural and not silly. And so it's, it's yeah, it's fun as an actor to have those sort of challenges. Adam, I'm going to come to you uh, because fans really know and love you from both comedic and dramatic roles in Parks and Rec, iconic and Big Little Lies. So what intrigued you about playing a character on a podcast? Um, well, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of audiobooks, um, like walking dogs or, you know, doing crap around the house. I just always and listening to something uh and i i love it i love it as a as a medium i think it's kind of there's this weird intimacy uh to it where you really feel you know because it's happening weirdly inside your head and and so you you know over a especially over a long period of time over a few hours you really kind of get uh connected to ones that you that 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 you like you get connected to it and you feel a connection to the to whatever the content is and um and so just as a fan of the of the medium i wanted to try it out also i wanted to work with kate and it was a really good script um there really weren't any reasons not to do it yeah so you're, so active, so you're so good in big little lies sorry you just reminded me of that show and i was like oh oh thanks kate. oh good so good yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, you were actually incredible in House of Cards and your death scene was iconic. also oh, pretty so iconic. incredible. I, that uh, killed me. And no pun intended. Well, killed her too, yeah. yeah, she was dead. <laughs> I re did you got I rewound it so many times because it was just like, wait, because it was the season two premiere. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Well, it was it really was surprising. Crazy. It was yeah. totally unexpected. The subway's oh there, God, you're was, not. <laughs> yeah, I feel, it still surprises me that people were surprised because I'm like, there's no way the the lead up to it. I feel like everyone's going to know. No, so wrong. no, <laughs> everyone was totally unexpected. But that does lead me to ask you, do we have any moments like that in Ghost Rider coming from you? Because it was iconic. Um, well, hopefully, I mean, it is a thriller, so hopefully it's thrilling. <laughs> I, uh, well, I don't want to give anything away. But what surprised you about the process? 
Um, I think I, I was, we were talking about this before. What surprised me about it is um, how important and effective um, really simple sounds are and, and, and making you feel certain things. I mean, we were talking about like music is, is an obvious one. Of course, music is going to ignite certain emotions in us, but just like this, the, the simple sound of like a door opening or a, a, a floor creaking, you know, it's, it, it makes you, it puts you on edge. And, and so listening to, to the movie after we were done with it, when all of those were added in, I, I, it was very, it was so exciting to hear. And it was a, yeah, it was a reminder of how effective all of those things can be. Well, Adam, you kind of spoke that you said that it's very intimate. It's an intimate experience for listeners. Um, yeah, and, which I, sounds kind of gross. No, but right. I, actually, but it makes perfect sense mm -hmm. to me because it's almost like reading a book. I remember reading my, my first Harry Potter book many, many years ago and creating this, this world in my mind. Your and now yeah. you're, yeah, you're able to do that, that now with a yeah. feature film in a podcast form. Um, is this the next evolution of what storytelling is? Uh, is this a return to its roots? Uh, how, where do you sort of place this in the pantheon of like storytelling? I don't know. I mean, I, I think that um, movie movies and TV shows and visual mediums will always have their place, of course, and uh, and podcasts have obviously boomed in popularity and are now sort of a permanent part of our culture. Um, and, you know, uh, audio, you know, like, like I said, I listen to a lot of audiobooks and I, a lot of people listen to audiobooks, you know, fiction and nonfiction. I think when well done, uh, fictional uh, podcasts or, or a really well produced audiobook of fiction can be just as riveting as anything else. And like you said, you have to meet it halfway with your imagination. I think that kind of creates a, a bond with the listener that um, you can't passively listen to something like this or an audio book and, and uh, remain able to follow along. You have to engage with it and activate your imagination in order for it to, to work. And I think that's that's uh, something that's that's different than visual medium. Yeah. Uh, Kate, you know, considering all the things that we've gone through just over the past couple of years, uh, why do you think people are responding so well to psychological thrillers? Does it sort of take them out of this psychological thriller we're living in the past <laughs> couple of years? <laughs> oh, let's hope. Yeah. Um, I think listening to anything worse than um, the experience that maybe you've gone through yourself is a, a relief. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I just think escapism is always something that has helped people get by, you know, and um, and our imaginations are so incredibly important, you know, not just as children, but as adults. It's 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 a it's a very magical, important part of 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 us as human beings. And so I think that in any way to be able to escape from reality um, is a good thing, especially with the world that we're living in right now. I love the perspective and the way that you hold back just a little bit. I appreciate it. Uh, Adam, before we let you go, um, I'm kind of curious to know your thoughts uh, on where you think storytelling is evolving and where it will be five or 10 years from now, because not that long ago, I can't imagine a lot of people thought we'd be, we would be listening to full length feature films like this on a podcast. Where do you, where do you see the medium going next? It's a great question. I, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know other than getting content injected directly into your bloodstream. <laughs> I'm not sure where else we have to, we have to go. You know, I, I will say that the fact that, that I have this device, the, like this iPad that has the world's library of films accessible to it. And it's an incredible picture. And if I put on a pair of good headphones, I have an actual cinematic experience. Just that alone, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, it would have blown my mind. Um, and, you know, podcasts are a similar thing. You have this endless library of knowledge and entertainment at your fingertips at all times. Um, and I think, you know, just in the past, like, four or five years, six years, I guess, 
since uh, the, you know podcasts have kind of really taken hold and exploded, it's been a really exciting, exciting time. So I think there's you know endless directions to go with it. Mm. Well, Ghostwriter just premiered this week and is already number one on the Apple podcast charts in the fictional category. So big congratulations, of course. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And to our listeners, be sure to check out Ghostwriter wherever you get your podcasts. Kate and Adam, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, and we're always rooting for you, two of our favorite actors. And uh, thanks for stopping by Odyssey today and checking in with us. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Take care.